Hey guys, it is Lucretia and you are tuning in to an episode of Candid Conversations. Thank you for connecting with me today for a Candid Conversation. It has been a moment since I have been on Candid Conversations, so I am happy to be back today. I was thinking about control today and control means that we exercise restraint or we're able to dominate something. And Galatians 5 and 22 and 23 says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, meekness, and self-control. The word in this scripture is self-control. Okay, and so that's what we're allowed to control ourselves. But sometimes human nature always wants to control everybody else. We want to control environments. We want to control circumstances. We want to control situations. And we want to control others. Because when we're controlling others and we have control over all of these other things, well, that's perceived control, then we feel okay about ourselves sometimes. But the only person that we can actually control is ourselves. We are not responsible for anyone else. So therefore we cannot control anyone else. And ultimately at the end of the day, we cause ourselves so much frustration and so much heartbreak when we attempt to control others and we attempt to push our ideas onto others because it makes us feel good about ourselves for whatever reason. And when we attempt to get others to do and behave the way that we deem as appropriate, as if we are God. The only one who's really in control of every single thing in the universe is God. He is ultimately in control of everything and he has not lost his power. 2020 has been a whammy. And if nothing else, it has demonstrated to us that many things that we think that are in our power or in our control, they are definitely out of our control. So with everything going on continuously, we have to remember that number one, God is still in control. He's still God, he'll always be, be God. He'll never lose his position or his power or his authority. And also when we're walking with God and Holy Spirit lives on the inside of us, then there should be some evidence of self-control in us. Self-control, what are you talking about, Lucretia? Well, we can control the things that we do. We can control the places that we go. And we can also control our mouths. Sometimes we have the hardest thing controlling our mouths because we think that because we have an opinion, then we have to express it. And when other people do not buy into our opinions or into our way of doing things, then we automatically, sometimes we demonize them and sometimes we disconnect from them. And sometimes we just think that maybe something wrong is going on with them, never considering at many points that possibly it's us. So like I said, Galatians 5, 22 and 23 says the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, meekness, and self-control. It never mentions others' control at any point. And sometimes there's a, that's a gauge for my life. When I start getting overly worried and anxious, I have to stop, I have to pause, I have to think, okay, Lucretia, what are you trying to control or who are you trying to control that you have no business trying to control at all. So that's me with another Candid Conversations. And thank you for tuning in to me once again. Talk to you later.